Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. Today, we're gonna to talk about a few things that I picked up for gardening because I'm getting ramped up for gardening. I'm so excited, even though we've got feet and feet and feet on the ground of snow outside and it's cold. I don't care, I'm getting ready. Okay, so I have been looking on Amazon and if you follow my community tabs, Every once in a while, our community page, I don't know what you call it, tab, page, whatever. Um, if you follow that, every once in a while, I'll put up a link to uh, an Amazon affiliate link to something that's on sale or you can get a coupon, clip coupon for, uh, and get it cheaper than you normally would on Amazon. And uh, so I've got a few things that I've purchased through that and I wanted to show you guys. So the first thing is a mini soil block maker. It is metal. It's got a spring up here. And hopefully you guys can see. You're supposed to pack it with soil in there. Grab this handle, push down. And you're supposed to be able to, um, with all that lovely squeaking, that's awful. Um, you're supposed to be able to push down on that and make your soil blocks to put your seeds in. It's got a little, we're gonna squeak one more time. Uh, they've got little nubs there in the middle so it'll push down where you can put your seed um, and so I haven't used it yet nice and clean haven't used it yet because I can't really start anything just yet I could but I would probably have huge plants in my house before I could actually put them out um, I'm hoping to get stuff out into the greenhouse but right now it's covered with snow I can't even get it uncovered and get into it yet so Eventually. Eventually it'll happen. Eventually it'll happen. Okay, so the other thing that I got um, for seed starting is this whole kit. This whole thing came together and you have your little soil block, your little trays. There's five in all. And then of course your little trays that they sit in. So like so. Uh, and then amongst all this other stuff in here, I'm gonna dump it all out some little covers for like a little mini greenhouse. Um, I need that because I don't use heat mats here. We live obviously off grid. So uh, I try not to use power when I'm doing this. I We have south facing windows. We have windows that get the sun constantly throughout the day. We have our office that I use and I use one window. And as the sun moves around, I just move the plants if I'm home, which I typically am because I work from home, I just um, move them to the different windows where the sun is shining. I turn them, I do whatever I can to get the sun on them and keep them warm. If I if it looks like they're struggling, I'll put them over by the stove for a while and heat that soil up a little bit, but typically that sun coming in the window really warms it up nicely. So, um, so yeah, these are really cute. And they've got the little holes on the top, little air, you know, moisture holes. And you just stick that right on top there and you can grow some little seedlings. I'm so excited. So I got that. And if I think of it when I'm editing, I will throw in the prices on these too. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're not on sale anymore. This was a few weeks ago. I've just been hanging on to stuff as it comes in. So the other thing is, um, I don't really want to open them because they'll go all over the place, but these are the pins. They're uh, pins that they go up and over. Maybe I'll stick a picture in somewhere of what they actually look like. But when you put down like weed block, you take these as uh, staples or pins and you put them down so that that doesn't move. Um, and so I got, mm, how many were in there? I can't remember. Let's see if this tells me. Shoot, I can't remember how many are in there quite a bit. There's 50. I think there's 50 in there, something like that, 40 or 50. And it also comes with discs with a hole so that the pins go down through the disc and it gives it more, uh, it doesn't, so the weed block won't rip through those, those uh, pins. Um, so I got those because I am planning on putting weed block on the rest of my garden. I didn't do it last year. I focused on building my beds and planting, not getting my weed block down, but I noticed that there was a really a lot of weeds in the walkway and it was kind of gradually trying to get up into certain places in the garden that I didn't want. 
So I'm gonna try to combat that with putting more weed block and some uh, wood chips um, and mulch down so that they don't do that. And it also looks really nice in the garden. It's nice to walk on and it's just nice. So um, the other thing that it came with was little tools, these little plastic tools, this little shovel and a little, you know, um, a little pick to stick down into the ground to put your seed in. Um, I don't know, this must be like a little weed puller. Um, some more of these, I guess these must go on the top. This came with, these came with all this, so you can turn it to let wherever you want, um, you know, how much air and uh, moisture you want coming out of that. Uh, it came with a marker and a bunch of tags to tag my plants, which I'm gonna need because I'm one of those people that will put it in and go, I will remember. I'll remember what that is. I don't need to tag it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I don't remember. This girl doesn't remember. I don't have to write it down. I'll remember. No, I don't. I don't remember. Just so you know. So if I say, if I ever say, oh, I'll remember that. I don't need to write it down. Just, hello? No, you do need to write it down, Shelly. Yeah, you do. So this past week was a bit of a uh, challenging week for me. I had two chickens die. Uh, one of them by uh, a hawk flew down and uh, killed one of my wine dots, my black and gold wine dot. She was a beautiful girl. Um, and uh, he got her. And then I had one of my oldest chickens die. She was a barred rock chicken and she I found her dead on the roost in the the other morning on Valentine's Day actually quite a lovely Valentine's Day surprise for me not um so anyway she um I'm pretty sure that maybe she started laying and I'm pretty sure that she may have broken an egg inside of her I'm not going to go into detail how I know this uh, because it would just be too gory and gross, but I checked her over to make sure it wasn't something that I have missed of, of lice or, or mites or something like that. She was very clean. I didn't see any of that. Uh, it was more likely an egg. She had just started laying again. So uh, I think something like that must have happened. So anyway... She was great right up until that morning, and I just missed her by not too long. So, um, but, and that was very sad because she was a very sweet, friendly girl, and uh, she will be missed. She really liked to talk, and you, I just knew her little peeps that she had when I'd go outside. She would, she would uh, peep at me, and I knew it was her. Out of all, I've got, well, I had 20 chickens, and out of all of them, I knew her peeps. I just knew who they were. <laughs> and she was a little baby. She sounded like a little baby. And she demanded to be have her treats instead of thrown out on the ground for her. She liked to have her treats either in my hand or placed in front of her. She was a little princess. But she was a good girl. So anyways, on Valentine's Day, that happened. And a couple days before that, the hawk got my other chicken. So I went to the post office to get the mail on Valentine's Day and I got some uplifting mail that I had not been expecting. It was so very nice. Um, we got mail from Hugo Homestead, CB at Hugo Homestead. Uh, if you're not familiar with her, uh, I'll put a link up here and also down in the description, go check out her channel. She has rabbits, chickens, a cute little dog and she's redoing uh, her home and doing redoing the floors and and doing all kinds of stuff so you want to go over and check out what she's been up to over there but thank you cb for this i opened up the mail and it said happy valentine's day with the sweetest note on the back this is just a little something to make you smile have a fun valentine's day well it did make me smile after i'd been so sad all morning and she sent me a pack of zinnia seeds, which are awesome because the birds and bees and butterflies love the zinnias. And so um, I'll be planting those for them. So thank you, CBA. Very much appreciate it. 
And uh, that was a very nice uplifting thing <laughs> to have happen after the week that I've had. Uh, I've been struggling anyway because of the cold and uh, the snow and it's just a lot of work and I get tired out just like anybody else would. You know, uh, and I'm just over the, I'm just over winter. You know, it's the middle of February. It's been so cold. We've actually had some nice warm days, but, and I thought, well, there, that'll revive me a little bit and make me feel a little better. And I try to spend some time in the sun, try to help me get that vitamin D and cheer me up. And it's just not working. Um, I've just had enough, you know, I'm just getting older and, and everything aches and uh, everything I do seems like a, a chore to get it done. And I'm just tired of it. So anyway, <laughs> that was nice to get that mail. And I, I'm just ready for spring. So that's hence why I've been purchasing little things to get my seedlings started. The little sprouts of green coming through are going to be very, very uh, uplifting to see those as soon as I can start them, which will be in another couple, two, three weeks probably. But on to sprouts and seedlings and things like that. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I had been hanging out with the chickens and the bunny out in the yard one day that it was just a beautiful, warm, sunny day and we were out there. And I decided to do a giveaway while I was out there and I put a little word somewhere in that video and I said, if you can pick that word out and use it in a sentence down in the comments, I'll put you in the random comment picker. Um, and whoever wins will get a $15 gift card from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. So the keyword or the word was bunny. And uh, let's see who won the giveaway for Mary's Heirloom Seeds. Check it out. There you go, Ann Dale's Homestead. Congratulations, Ann Dale. She's already been contacted, she's already got it, and she's probably already spent it. You go, girl. <laughs> I know she'll she'll have fun uh, buying stuff there, and, uh, and I really enjoy Mary's because she's always having sales, and she treats you really well, and if she can't find it, she tries to find it for you if there's something you're looking for. I notice there's a lot of things sold out, but it's like everywhere. You just got to be patient. It'll come in. It'll take time, but it'll it'll get there. So, um, so congratulations, Anne. I think that's great. I'm so excited for you to have won that. Um, and we'll do we'll we'll be, we'll be doing some more in the future. Um, uh, yeah, I love doing the giveaways, especially the seed giveaways or the you know getting ready to garden giveaways. Whatever you decide to purchase with. The gift card that's why it's a gift card not seeds uh there may be something that you have been wanting to try last year i tried a coconut core where it was like a brick and you put it into a container and add water and it just swells up if you haven't seen that video i'll link it at the end of this one so you can check it out it's pretty cool uh and my stuff really grew very well in it i actually had these little um little bags that you could put the the coconut core in and grow your seeds in and you didn't have to transplant um, out of the bags. You could take the whole bag and put it right into the garden. So, um, and it worked great. This, the roots I showed uh, in some of my other videos, I showed how the roots came right out of those bags and it worked very, very well. So, and I think I have a few left this year. I don't know as I'm going to uh, purchase those again this year. Not that they didn't work well, um, but I'm just going to go and, and try some, making some blocks of my own, out of my own uh, dirt. Um, and uh, just doing something different this year, I guess. So trying not to spend extra money on things if I can do it for free, which is always good, uh, or at least cheaper. Anyway, I think that's all that I had for you guys today. Um, my garden haul and... Uh, just being sick of the winter. And that's probably going to be the name of this video. I don't know. So thanks for coming along, guys. Thank you to Huga Homestead for the seeds. Thank you to Andale for joining in my giveaway. And congratulations on winning. And uh, I will be sending something out to CB at Huga Homestead here right off. Um, I have some seeds that I collected here. So she's going to get some off-grid seeds from Whiskey and Sunshine. So anyway... 
Thanks guys. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.